Hey there, I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to show you how to make your conference notes searchable using Airtable. We're going to start off with an Airtable base that I have already created, and then I will go and open up a blank base and show you step by step how I made it. So let's get started. Over here, I have my pre made base. When I am taking notes at conference, I will set up the name field here to act as all of the bullet points that I take during the conference. Then I have a field set up for like, what type of advice is this? Is it facts and data? Is it something I need to take action on? Is it something that maybe I need to learn more about and do a little bit extra digging on? That kind of thing will help me know what to do with these notes when the conference is over. Now, moving on from that, I have what session, which is important if I need to go back and just view specifically, like, do I want to review just this thing on organic traffic? Then absolutely, I can go up here and filter it by, um, organic traffic. So we we'll go under session and session is organic traffic. And now that's all that I would see from that. Now over here, this, this was just specifically for me for this conference that I attended. It was social media marketing world. So it was important for certain um, showings to denote what platform was being talked about. So a lot of these platform has been left blank, but if they were talking about Facebook or YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, if I only wanted to view my conference notes based on what they said about a particular platform, I could again use the Airtable filter to only view notes about that particular topic from the entirety of the conference, which I have found extremely useful. Now, next in line, I have attachments, and that's come in handy for me. Like, if there is slides that I can upload after the talk, or if perhaps I took pictures during the session of something they were doing, or something that was on the projector, I could post those in right here. Then, finally, we have a drop down for who the speaker was. And if you only want to view a particular speaker, and especially if that speaker did multiple sessions, it's a really great way to break that down. So let me go over here and I will show you how I set that up. So go over here, click add base and start from scratch. So then say it's a very big conference I could say like, let's name this table day one. If you prefer to have it broken up into days if you're viewing a lot of content. I personally like to just make everything in one table for conferences because it just makes it as searchable as possible without having to switch between tabs and remember what thing happened on what day. Now, we're going to change the name field to long text and go over here and let's customize the field type again and let's say we make this a single select and we will say type so we can say action item for things we need to do immediately we could say general advice and we could say perhaps resource. And then when you want to pick which one of those things that is for your conference, say now we know that go skydiving is an action item. Now we'll leave the attachments field for just in case there's a photograph that you want to post from the slide deck or anything else that went on on stage during that portion of the conference. Now we will add a field and we will title that speaker. We'll make that again a single select 
And the reason I'm doing a single select rather than just a name field is if you have a lot of notes from the same speaker's session, it makes it so much easier to just be able to type their name in once and then just hit it again and again going down on your multiple select rather than having to copy paste or retype their name. Just simplifies things a lot and it makes it compute well with the filter and grouping of Airtable. I did intentionally leave out platform because I realize not everybody is going to be going to social media specific conferences. So platform may not be useful to you, but that is the beauty of Airtable. You can add in whatever the heck is going to be the best thing for you. And that my friend is how you create a conference notes uh, base on Airtable. I hope you found that helpful and feel free to drop a line if you have a particular need for a certain type of base on Airtable or a certain project you're trying to start running. I would be happy to brainstorm with you and come up with an Airtable base that would meet your needs.